The Gloom Spite gets Bad Moon Loon Shrine. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody and welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies What's in the Box video where we're going to look at this great new model for the Gloom Spite Gets, the Bad Moon Loon Shrine. Yeah, I got that right. It's quite a mouthful to say in these videos. But anyway, this amazing model will leave you breathless. And if you are part of the Gloom Spite Gits, it is one of those necessary things you need in the game. So now let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. And here we go, Gits returning back under the mountain where we get to look at our infamous Gloom Spite gets a bad moonshine. <laughs> All right, that's my goblin voice for the day. Have a good one. No, anyway. <laughs> All right, so here we are looking at the top of this amazing box. This is a model, of course, designed by the Games Workshop Studio. I was going to say the Ard Boys. It was painted by the Ard Boys. And as you can see, this is a really cool model. Real cool scenery piece as well as active scenery piece. This is, of course, the size of our goblin here. I know he's a little hard to see with the glare. Um, I still have the shrink wrap on this right now, by the way. Look at all the little mushrooms and everything you get in here. This is a, a real eye-catching box. That's for sure. So we're just going to flip it over here and take a look at the back. Show you the new hotness. Your goblins are running the old busted job, but this is the new hotness. <laughs> Just like Will Smith said in Men in Black, number two, I believe. Okay, so check out that big goblin moon shrine with, of course, the other one. One of these is Gork, and the other is a Mork, or something to that effect. Okay, so they give you all the, uh, the brand new hotness callouts for your paints. They're saying the moon, or your stone bits, are celestial gray with a shade of nuln oil, ulithin gray, and white scar for your highlights. I've seen this done as yellow. I've seen it done as blue. There's a lot of cool things. Look at the cages. This is reminiscent of the giant. In fact, if you wanted to add a little bit, so you could use some of the cages from the giant. Um, the mushrooms. You've got shrooms. Hehe. <laughs> There's even like barnacles hanging on here. Almost. I guess it can't be barnacles because it's not underwater. But they are sort of... Oh, huh, what am I thinking? It's goblins. They're fungus. Yes, Trev. Time to wake up. This is about three in the morning that I'm doing this. Uh, it's hard to sleep in the summertime. Just so you guys know. Okay, anyway. So uh, this is our box. It also includes uh, rules. And uh, now I'm really curious about opening this. I got this when this was new, when it was first released a couple of months ago. Almost half a year ago, I think, now, from the release of this video. And I've been itching to open this up because I've got an old <coughs> 8th edition night, or 7th edition Night Goblin Army that came with the Battle for Skull Pass. So I want to see how this looks with those little guys. Do not adjust your sets. This is not in color. Although this stick is. <laughs> okay. These are actually the instructions for the Bad Moon Loon Shrine. <laughs> and as you can see, the grinning moon is happy to see you. All right. Copyright 2019 by Games Workshop. So we are in August of 2019 so you know that this is the new hotness as will smith was saying okay anyway so we open up the instructions and it's too bad unlike the caradron overlords this is not in full color however i imagine it's not in full color because goblins don't have color printers <laughs> actually gits don't have colored printers all right anyway so they give you the warnings and the symbols and you need the citadel glue the citadel side cutters and the citadel mold line remover 
Available at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta. Once again, that's Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta. I'm getting in all the plugs I can. Plugity plug plug. <laughs> anyway, if I don't have it in stock, I can reorder. I can restock. I have the technology. Like the Bionic Man. Okay, anyway, enough of that nonsense. That's not what you came for. You came to see this plastic kit. And look at these wonderful instructions. Okay, so you're getting the left and right hand sides of this moon shrine. So that citadel glue, you're going to have to go all the way up, all the way around here, all the way down there, all up there, all up there, all down around, all the way down, and then back down the bottom, and then push this together. That's a lot of glue, folks. No, but it's worth it. This is a really cool kit. I actually have seen this on our battlefields in our gaming table. One of the tournaments I ran. This, of course, is the other moon that goes on the back. Is it Gork or is it Mark? <laughs> All right. One is sneaky and cunning, and the other is cunning and sneaky. So there is the little moon going on the back of the big moon, and they're showing you how it is supposed to glue together. And, of course, here it is now at the bottom with the smaller moon glued to it. Now we're getting into the big horn that's sticking out the back where our little cages are going to hang on. They actually have hook eyelets here. So that's a pretty interesting way of doing it instead of it uh, pegging into some complicated little hole or some bizarrity. Um, have any of you guys out there built this thing? Have you any recommendations for gluing these things together? If so, let us know in the comments section down below. We look forward to your answer, because right now I have none. No, actually I do, but <laughs> I, wanna, I want your answers for a change. I can't tell you everything, can I? No, anyway. All right, so here's all the little mushrooms. All the little mushrooms. Where do they all come from? Well, they come from this kit, and they glue down here, and then they glue on to here, and meet in the middle so that it fills in the uh, underneath of the loon shrine here. And then, you know, since we're in the mushroom conversation, there's more of these fungi growing up the sides and on the edge of the moon. This is sort of reminiscent of the one that came in the Battle of Skull Pass, although that was like one third the size of this loon shrine. Then, of course, they're giving you the left and right hand side so you can see how that's all done together. This would also make a nice diorama piece if you don't play the game but are just interested in fantasy models and all that kind of cool stuff. I mean look how much fungus is on this thing. This is fungus humongous chungus whatever is. Okay so uh, moving away from the fungus a little bit here are the cages that they've got those skulls in and they are much like the cages that come with the giant or the cage the one that hangs off his belt uh, they go together in multiple pieces left and right hand side and there's the first one hanging off there which is nice nice that they got the hooks it's actually a two-piece hook left and right so you have to paint this separate and then glue it together into that hole, left and right hand side, but it will hold it in there. And then this one here has more of the skeletons hanging out of it. Sort of, oh, you glue one together or clean one up, sit them down on the bottom, and then he hangs in there on the other side. And then here they show you what it looks like at this stage all put together. And I do believe that might be it. Uh, let's see here. Nope, one more picture. This is uh, end views and side views to help you along your way. And now we actually get the scenery war scroll for the Bad Moon Luna Shrine. <laughs> and they give you some in different languages, French, English, whatever. Here's the scenery rules. Now, one thing that is cool. Um, if your gloom spike gets are within 12 inches of the strain feature, they will not take battle shock. And they also have the moon clan layers. So basically, at the end of each of your turns, you can pick one friendly stabber or shooter unit. 
that has been destroyed and then you can basically bring out another unit or new units out of the loon shrine so they kind of come out of the the little hidden caves and stuff in here ready for more vengeance <laughs> then look they have all these different languages here even i do believe this is japanese so you can build this in any language you prefer and that is the back of the instruction sheets so without further ado let's take a look at these plastic parts and see just how cool they are now we'll begin our examination of the plastic pieces are you ready doctor i am all right no anyway so as you can see this is quite a big loon shrine model kit here this thing's huge look at the this is a purple piece of paper under here so this is the full size of the box top Probably about eight and a half by eleven or eleven eleven and a half by eight, I believe. Now here's a little goblin that I painted. Well, I haven't painted; he's primered. But if that's the ground, there's there's the goblin. There's his spear here, and it's a little hard to see. That's the top of his spear. There's his body, and look at how much more this thing is compared to him, right? So that's how big this thing is. Um, yeah. Lots of nice detail. There's the base pieces that were coming out of there, as in the instruction sheet. The massive amounts of mushroom and fungi growing on here. There's the little moon. This is molded in two halves, like I showed in the instructions there. Quite a lot of stuff. There's the horn where the uh, cages are hanging off, and there's one of the cages there. Casting a little bit of a shadow on here. Okay, so there we go and turn this over you can see that the horn and the mushrooms they are 360 degrees uh, molded around this is of course 180 with the front being on the one side right left hand right hand side i guess would equal to 180 degrees if i'm saying these are 360. okay so let's uh bring this up into our camera lens so that you can see the amazing detail on here just flip that over and turn it around when you see the moon rising be very afraid but look at look at the uh, fungus growing on here and some really cool stuff this will be a real nice uh, dry brushing challenge look at the mushrooms on here let me see catch that in the light you can see the uh, fungus growing up there now originally i'm from north vancouver bc and we uh when I was in Scouts, we did a lot of hiking around in the mountains out there. And it's more uh, moisture in the, the mountains. And I've actually seen stuff like this growing on real trees. So that's my claim to fame. <laughs> Whatever. Little shout out to British Columbia there. Okay, so there's the smaller moon. Let's see how cool this thing is. There's the rocky base that's underneath where the goblins would throw all their muck and probably dung. Oh, sorry, the gits. Huh. Got to get up with the new age here. The age of Sigmar. So th this will be nice with the dry brushing going on there and the little holes here for gluing in more mushrooms. At least they didn't trademark mushroom at Games Workshop. <laughs> I don't have to call them like like uh, loonish rooms or something weird. Anyway, <laughs> so there's the cage. You can see the many pieces. It's actually one of the side braces on there. Um, yeah, there's even rope detail, I do believe. It's very nice knot work on there. The chains going around to keep this thing together. I guess it's actually broken off here. There's a crack going along that seam. So maybe the... Uh, the gits broke it, or lightning hit it or something. There's even some patchwork here to keep the, the tip of the moon together. Actually, that'd be kind of an interesting thing for you guys that are a little more into kit bashing. You could actually break that off along that thing and have, like, this on the ground somewhere. And then uh, fill this in and make sort of like a broken off rock kind of look to it. That's actually cool. Cool idea. What sort of ideas do you have of building this thing? How would you paint it? Let us know in the comments below, and let's look at the other piece of sprue that we get in here. 
And now, my little git friends, we are looking at the other side of this brew. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you can see, actually, this side here is filled in compared with the other side, which actually this is open. So in that spell, or the ability where all the night goblins are going to come out, that's where they're coming out on that side. So this is sort of like a tunneled cave. Um, all right. So again, we have the left and right hand side of the moons and more mushrooms. There's a little bit more of the dirt going on in here. This is the bottom of the cage. There is a skeleton that's actually all pre-made up for you who's in a sitting position. So you can sit him on here and dangle him out of this cage. And again, with our mushrooms and our fungus. So this is basically the mirror version of the first sprue. But let's, let's just look at the skeleton here in more detail. So there he is, Billy Bones. Ha <laughs> ha, I put a pirate hat on him. <laughs> I don't know, but look at how his hand is hanging out there. He's actually got mushrooms starting to grow on him. So that's pretty cool. The back detail of him is also really nice. I'm sure Nagash is really upset looking at this right now. <laughs> of course, Nagash would want to bring him back, back to his former glory and have him join his relentless hordes of undead. But in the meantime, He's going to be just hanging out at the Goblin Moon Shrine. Right on. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. This should really aid you in your games. And I'd like to know, you know, for the guys that are playing this currently, uh, how's it working out for you? How is it when you summon out your little primer painted night goblins sitting here in our chaos black, waiting to wreak their havoc? Uh, waiting for a paint job. <laughs> uh, how do you guys find uh, painting like units of 60 goblins? I mean, pardon me, gets. 60 gets at a time and doing like multiple units. Anyway, if you got any nice tricks on how to speed that process up, let me know because I'd like to get these guys out there and playing. So that is our look at the final sprue tree. And that completes our look at the Gloom Spite Gets Bad Moon Loon Shrine. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this amazing view where we got to see the Gloom Spite Gets Bad Moon Loon Shrine. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below if you think this will help your army or if you face this thing, let us know in the comment section below how you got around it. And don't forget to come down to Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta and check out our amazing Games Workshop model kits that we have. We have a Warcry, we still have a Silver Tower, and we've got some of the old kits that are no longer going to be current, like the Lorthin Sky Cutter, the Wood Elf Glade Guards, the Orc Boys from the Greenskins Army, and I still got to start collecting Greenskins sitting here, and the Empire Great Swords. These are all on square bases too, so for you guys that like, you know, Ninth Age and Old Fantasy, you don't have to put these on rounds. Ha <laughs> ha! So anyway, until next time, good luck on the battlefield and may you never face this.